Are you struggling on your project for a Desmos art competition? Make sure to stay to the end for a secret rule. Let's first start with an analysis of a previous art competition. First, give your work meaning. What I mean by this is give your graph a story or representation. Show us what we should know or learn from your graph. Some examples here show a story, but like this one talks us about the pandemic. To give your graph meaning, it is a Desmos art competition after all. 2. Finish your project. Clean it up and make sure it's polished. It's much better if you cut back on the graph idea than rather to have to just leave it unfinished. I mean, even Eli, the CEO of Desmos, says so. Be happy with what you've made. 3. What you should be really aiming for is being creative and standing out. Not really. I mean, though a lot of effort was still put into it, uh, this one is still visually very creative and interesting, and makes me ponder. 4. Another cool feature that you may not know about is table and polygons. They are great for building lines and shapes quickly. Another thing to consider is design. You can adjust line width, fill opacity, and you can also create text from points. You can also use images as they can quickly render things and can be manipulated in other cool ways. Although keep in mind that the rules of a Desmos R competition require that they be in public domain. Other cool features that you could look out for and implement in your graphs are clickable objects, actions, uh, tickers, list comprehension, uh, color, and also the audio trace feature. And now for the secret rule, Eli, the CEO of Desmos himself, came to the Des Desmos Discord to talk about it. Make sure that your graph is performing enough. To check, you can add question mark simulation FPS to the end of your graph URL, and if your time when loading the graph is below 1000 milliseconds, then you should be good to go. Alright, that's it for me today, so have fun, good luck, and keep graphing.